Basket weaving is a practical art form that is just about as old as civilization itself. Baskets would have been made with natural materials and they decay over time, making it very difficult for archaeologists to pinpoint exactly how ancient this handicraft is. Although imprints made from baskets have been found at early Neolithic archaeological sites, I think it's sufficient to say Basket weaving is long enduring and is quite possibly one of the very first practical handicrafts. Generally, a basket is made from an odd number of spokes that serve as the base for the side walls and rim. The spokes provide a structure that can be woven, alternating material placement from the front to the back as the basket progresses upward at each level, creating a structurally sound vessel. In this lesson, students will create a basket with a slight twist to the standard spokes. The end result is a largely traditional looking basket, but the winding path to get there is anything but conventional. To begin, cut a length of yarn no longer than three feet. More can certainly be added, but anything longer than that will start to become tangled and complicated to handle. I have a mixture of Blick glue and a little bit of water. I'm going to start by dropping my yarn into this mixture. Notice I'm sort of coiling it around and that will also help keep it from tangling. Use a craft stick, press down. Be sure the yarn is completely saturated. It can even be left to soak for a while in the mixture as long as it's not left in there so long that the glue begins to dry. Now, I have found a balloon makes the best structural support for this project. You may think you could use the other side of a flipped over plastic bowl or maybe a cup, but actually the yarn sticks a little bit too well and it will become misshapen when pulled off of the support. Blow up your balloon and I'm going to place mine on a small plastic cup to support it while I work. Find your yarn in the glue mixture and this is definitely saturated. It's pretty goopy. I'm going to use my fingers to squeegee off the excess glue. Begin draping the yarn over the balloon. Make sure you have some vertical spokes as well as horizontal bits connecting everything together. Largely though, this is done in a random swooping kind of motion. Continue to add pieces building up the structure of your basket, but be sure to leave open some spaces for weaving later. When complete, set aside to dry, it'll take about 24 hours. When it's dry, first be sure the yarn feels crisp by pressing into it. Then, the fun part, pop the balloon. Now you'll notice my yarn has crumbled in with the balloon. That's okay, gently peel it away. Now there's so many materials that can be used to weave. I've started this piece with a little bit of raffia. I'm going to continue using the Royal Co. fabric strips as they're nice and wide. You can cover a lot of space with very little material and time. To thread your yarn needle, twist the fabric in on itself. Nice small piece to thread through the eye of the needle. I'm going to start where I left off with the raffia here. Now there may or may not be an odd number of spokes on your basket and the pathway will meander a bit. There's really no wrong answer here. Sometimes two strings may be skipped over at once. Could wrap around a horizontal bit, this part here, in an attempt to uh, conceal it a bit better. Areas can be left open. There's really, really no wrong answer. Students can feel confident that it is their choice. And while decisions do have to be made, all the choices here are correct. If you want to get your wacky weaving on, visit dickblick.com for the full lesson plan PDF and materials list. While you're there, check out our hundreds of other free lesson plans and project ideas for art education.